thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Good afternoon and Happy New Year to you all. Uh, today, I would like to announce the appointment of a team of local professionals to serve as members of the newly created Blue Ribbon Panel to review all aspects of the airport redevelopment project. This panel is made up of distinguished local professionals who will independently review the airport redevelopment project. The panel will be chaired by uh, Mr. Malcolm Butterfield to my left, uh, retired managing director of KPMG. Uh, the panel will also include Mr. Craig uh, Simmons, uh, economic senior lecturer at Bermuda College, Mr. Gil Tucker, retired chairman of Ernst & Young, Mr. Barkley Simmons, a managing director, uh, excuse me, managing partner of ASW Law and chairman of Butterfield Bank, and Ms. Caroline Folger, retired partner of PricewaterhouseCoopers, and Mr. Anthony Joquin, retired partner of Ernst & Young and chairman of HSBC Bermuda. I am pleased to announce that we have put in place this blue ribbon panel to provide an additional independent evaluation of the airport redevelopment project as to whether the option chosen by the government is the best one for Bermuda, given the realities the island faces today. This government has been very transparent about this complex transaction from the start and although assessments have already been carried out by Deloitte and Steer, Davies, and Gleave, the value for money uh, consultant, this newly formed panel uh, of notable respected local professionals will offer additional independent oversight and indeed insight into the agreement, the impact on government finances, and value for money. They will have full access to all documentation regarding the project, including the draft project agreement. Additionally, they will be able to engage the executives of the Canadian Commercial Corporation and Acon Inc., as well as all government uh, advisors, legal advisors, financial advisors, technical and project management advisors. As financial close has not yet been achieved, we cannot publicly release things that aren't yet finalized. However, this panel will have full access to this information to form their conclusions. The Blue Ribbon Panel will be conducting their review over the coming weeks and will prepare an independent conclusion for the Ministry of Finance and the Bermudian public before the end of January 2017. And with those brief prepared remarks, I'm quite happy to answer any questions you may have. Will this be a paid panel? Are they doing this uh, off their own? Um, <laughs> no, they are not being paid. Um, they are doing this out of public service. So they're not being paid. But you say that they'll have, because financial close hasn't happened yet, the, the panel will have full access to all information relating to the deal, including the uh, items that so far have been described as confidential. That's correct. Um, they will have access to all documents, including confidential documents. Um, but you know, our position is that, uh, particularly the project agreement, which is still being kicked around by lawyers, uh, that cannot be revealed to the public. But this panel will have access to that for their information and for their uh, duties of, of oversight. Well, I have been trying to put that in perspective for them, and um, that, uh, and most importantly, the government of the day is committed to the airport project, and that's what's most important to them and to us. Just one last one. Apologies if you've already said this one. What would be, if, if we were to withdraw from the project now, what would be the financial repercussions for the island? Well, the last time figure I heard was about $24 million. Uh, but uh, as time moves on, so does cost. So but that was uh, sometime in December. Uh, I guess my first question is, why? 
Why have you decided to do this? Well, I think that perhaps people are tired of hearing my voice on this. So um, it, it was, I thought it was a good idea to um, involve uh, other people who have real expertise in finance in particular. You notice that all of these people uh, have expertise and experience in, in, in finance, accounting, economics. Uh, chairman here, he's a real expert in infrastructure finance, for instance. Uh, so um, it would be good to have the, um, the opinions of people who have real knowledge, expertise, and experience in this field as opposed to people who are just shooting from the hip and shooting in the dark, which we've had a lot of that. And what, um, what impact will their report have on this project? If they if they come up with a report saying, actually, you know, it's not that very not a good idea. We should probably just do something else. What what, what would the government's position be in that situation? I think I O U are the master of hypothetical questions, and that is one of them. Uh, the only thing I can say is that I am sufficiently confident, and the government is sufficiently confident, that we are prepared to take that risk. But then, and then what? I mean, I say it's a hypothetical question. I, I've answered the best I could. So you've appointed a panel that you're absolutely sure is going to. I didn't say I was sure. I said I was confident. Uh, one cannot be sure of anything that happens in the next second, much less the next day or weeks. Nobody knows what's going to happen to the future. The only thing that I can tell you is that um, I um, have appointed this group of experts, local experts. I'm confident that they will do their work, uh, apply their expertise, and I'm confident that they'll, they'll come to a conclusion that I came to quite some time ago. But I can't, tell, I can't do it for them. They're independent. They'll do what they have to do. So you've appointed the panel that you sure will agree with you, basically. No, n don't put words in my mouth. I won't let you I'm do that. To no, I will not let you do that, Io. Yeah. Don't put words in my mouth. That is not what I said. Don't be mischievous here. It's too early in the year to be mischievous. Okay? <laughs> too early. That's not what I said. Okay, so uh, I'll move on to another question. Please. Um, <laughs> the um, current airport facility, as we all know, because the Premier sent pictures around Facebook, um, and as you've been saying, it's, it's in really bad shape. Yeah. Um, what will happen to it? in the three and a half years of constructing the new one? Is that just going to be allowed to fall down or something? No, we cannot have our airport fall down. Mm -hmm. um, the reason we're building a new terminal is because um, one day Hurricane XYZ is going to come and wipe that thing off the face of the map. I have no doubt about that if we don't do something. Um, but we have to uh, keep sort of uh, putting Band-Aids on it as much as we can. Uh, quite frankly, even though it, uh, you know, the latest uh, cloud burst that we had, I mean, the, the, the videos were awful, and the pictures were awful. Um, the fact is that in spite of heroic efforts from the staff who worked on there, that's what happens. Uh, I think we are spending between four and five million dollars a year on maintenance in that place. Um, and every year that goes by, uh, that maintenance curve is going on an exponential track. Um, but uh, while the new terminal is being built, we have to um, do what we can to keep the place going, and we will. Has ACON or CCC, is there a commitment for them to repair the roof, or is the government going to do that? Well, once the project agreement is signed, and Project Co, or Bermuda Skyport, as the proper name is, uh, takes over all that will be their responsibility. Is that required in the contract? Yes. So? Okay. Um, did the FCO have anything to do with your decision to form this panel? No. Are they quite happy with everything now then? Yes, they are. I remember the only involvement in FCO had to do with the fact that we were dealing with a Canadian government entity. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been involved at all. Have they, are they assured that you've satisfied all the conditions? Yeah, I've answered that question many times, and the question is yes. Okay, I, 
I got a very vague response from them, which is why I'm asking you. So. Okay. Well, you got a very definite answer from me. Why, thank you, sir. Okay. Anybody else? Yes. And, and just for clarity, I kind of already asked it. Does the panel have access, including to the documents that weren't shared with everyone? Yes. Else? 